Alright, in this video I'm going to do a disassembly, clean up, and refurbish, if you will, uh, a four and a half inch Craftsman vise. So my wife bought this for me, she carried it through the mall, and believe me, that was a feat. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, I plan on showing you the disassembly and the reassembly and the cleanup. I really don't know how far I'm going to go. Uh, definitely going to try and restore it a little bit. I think you can see that I thoroughly use it. You know, I use the plate, I have some soft jaws, and even though I have soft jaws, I was looking and I definitely have used the grips over time. There's some uh, cutouts in it which were v extremely helpful. <laughs> I have used those so much it's not even funny. I can't even imagine just a flat base. I have these soft pieces that comes in real handy that saved me on many occasions. Saved the finish on what I was doing. You know, I tried looking up vices. I have it loose. I tried looking up vices tighten it down. and seeing if I could get the slop out of there and uh, most of the uh, videos on YouTube are you know complete restorations of some pretty classic vices some older vices and I just wanted to do some maintenance you know take it apart clean it up put it back together you know it has a dark gray finish I don't know maybe I'll restore it we'll see how far it goes you can see my mount you know I have some like three-quarter inch plywood you know not the best mount in the world it's on a craftsman uh, you know seven drawer table you know it's it's not the most rigid mount on the planet but it certainly has done me well. So, let's get started and see if I can figure out how to take this apart. I really didn't see too many videos on taking it apart. Some have pins, some have clips, some have nothing. Let's see what this one is. Alright, I've been showing this trick more and more in my videos. Uh, in my J-O-B when we dressed out in protective clothing we would put on cotton gloves before we put on our uh, vinyl gloves or whatever gloves we had to put on and it just helps it slide right on uh, also if it's summertime and you're sweating that helps absorb the sweat instead of you know pouring out the glove you know instead of water running out of the glove like a water fountain. Anyway, a little trick for you. Alright, let's see if this comes out or stops. Well, that was easy. Okay, we just have a threaded rod and then there's a clip and a washer and a spring. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Alright, don't mind my grass catcher bag there off to the side. Let's see what I have here. Oh, let's just take that. There we go. Alright. like I'm gonna have to unbolt it. Alright, looks like three-quarter deep well.
one eighth inch Allen. Right here. Ooh.
Well, there you have it. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video through. It's just a refurbishment. I mean, I didn't even file down or sandpaper down or otherwise clean up this flat spot here. I mean, I beat on it all the time. You can see there's dings and dents. I just kind of polished it up a little bit. I did find some new jaws, which I'm going to put on there. However, they don't have the uh, bolt holder, wire holder, whatever holders cut out in them. So I use those quite a bit. So I don't know if I'll machine those into the new ones or not. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Take care.